Welcome back, dear sweet friends, to another enthralling episode of Meandering Gently Through the World of Tamriel Rebuilt in OpenMW. It wasn't, it wasn't easy to memorize all that. Last time we fell to our death. Well, I, I fell to my death. In the game, off one of these ledges. But it doesn't matter, it's only a game. So, it's time to leave Roadaya behind. We didn't delve into many of the interiors, but um, it's a, it's a strange, magical place, and um, oh, hello! What's that noise? Is it you? Get out of it. Spoiling, uh, spoiling my uh, eulogy. The plan now will be to continue investigating some of the uh, the areas that have been uh, worked on in the recent update. So I think we're going to proceed east to uh, to Black Gate. And then loop back around south southeast to to check out the two cities which are here and here, and then that will leave a couple of uh, a couple of islands. I don't know exactly where they are. I think one is here, and then at the very end we're going to go back and have a closer look at Almasthir. Uh, anyway, enough enough of that. It's time to, to leave the city and return return to nature. I think we want we want to go more or less directly east. Too, too slow, Mr. Fish. Well, here, here's the road. We'll travel by road. Hmm. Did we not... Somebody mentioned the, uh, the city or the town of Vol. Did we, did we pick up a quest? Possibly we did, but then I, I I fell off a building, and then uh, that quest has disappeared. I guess this is just a little little farm, is it? What is this about? Uh, who are you? You used to be a slave, but now you are free. But you decided to stay. You're messy, aren't you? <laughs> well, I don't know if we will encounter Vol because uh, I don't think I don't think that's part of the update. So we're not we're not going to we're not going to encounter. Uh, see what that quest in Vul was. But of course, uh, yeah, checking out quests isn't a priority of this little expedition. We're just uh, checking out the landscape and the archaeology. I said archaeology, I meant architecture. Let's go this way. You seem placid enough. Very good. And who's this? 
Boris Odathil. Are you? You are he. You are a hunter. Wealth beyond measure, Alpaca. Enjoy your hunting. and relaxing to uh, to get back to this um, stress-free exploration. Mm. This looks like the way east. Pretty sure I remember you guys from the previous uh, you may speak. the previous visit. <laughs> uh, nice skirt. I think this uh, this tent is new and and this orc is new. But this little shrine is. <laughs> This shrine was here before. Charming people, the Denver. Such quaint customs. There's a little bit of, um, of background noise thanks to my neighbours, but hopefully it evades the microphone, but um, they've been quite noisy today. They're normally not too bad, but... Um, I've been meaning to record this video for a couple of days and I... <laughs> there we go again. They seem to have taken up table moving. They're not very good at it. They seem to need a lot of practice. Okay, so we found, we found the river. I don't know which river this is. But it may be we've come the wrong way. Let me just check the map. I'm looking for a place called Black Gate, but maybe, maybe that, that little shiny temple place was that. Oh well, in that case, we can go south. We can go south to all the way to, uh, to Aimra, which is here. So yeah, the, the main area here that's been worked on now that we're, we're interested in is basically this. I realize now that once again I have forgotten to to increase the draw distance. Let's see if we can uh I oh know, Ophrenesis, we've come too far east.
If if my memory serves from from the before time, it's a sort of pilgrimage's town. Pil pil pilgrim's town? I seem to remember a lot of pilgrims on some kind of pilgrimage. That will be what they're doing. Yeah, I shouldn't have crossed. I shouldn't have crossed the river. Nice change of scenery to have the more open space. I, I like it. I hope this is actually um, a finished bit of landscape. It is quite nice to have a little more. It's not sparse, but um, yeah, just have a little more space. A few less trees, not so many mushrooms. Interesting. We have some kind of uh, some kind of building and a nice waterfall and somebody suspicious hanging about outside going for a walk. Let's go and talk to them. I'm sure that they're friendly. Always look, always look behind a waterfall. How are you doing? This is my property you're trespassing on. <laughs> Give me everything you have and maybe I'll let you live. <laughs> uh, well, we're very polite. So I am just passing through. I mean, you know home. Ah, well, you're, you're, also, um, you're also quite nice. This land is full of cutthroats and vampires. Hmm. <laughs> Would you like to come inside? I can offer you food and drink. <laughs> um. Never, ever, ever, under any circumstances, accept an offer like this. However, um, we can let's um, let's see what happens. Let's, uh, let's save before something even more bad happens to us. Well then, are you not going to lead the way inside or what? No. What's he doing? Why have you assumed your, your special stance? <laughs> well, I guess that down here is still to be worked on. I'm confused with the author of all. Look, I can I can do this as well. Look, woo. No. How do we get inside your uh, your evil den? Oh, here's the door. Lock level 50. Um, I think we have a scroll of unlocking, do we not? We do indeed. Or we could try to even cast a spell. Ah, superb. 
don't know what happened to the dude, but um, let's check out his home. Let's see if we can find any clues as to what's happening. It's nice that the interiors are also a little bit different. The, um, the, the vanilla interior of these structures is a bit, was very repetitive and nice to have a little bit of variation. So far, it looks like an innocent mage's home. The abolition of slavery is in all ways an absurd or a notion that is contrary to the teachings of thousands of years. Okay then. Well, we, we need to recharge our magicka. Let's have a little kip. I don't really want to spend too long inside, but um, it is intriguing to see what his game is. I'm sure he's up to no good. Poison Song 3. How strange. Okay, level 60. This is going to be quite tricky now. I don't think we can get... Possibly the scrolls will help. Yeah. Oh no. No, it didn't work. <laughs> um, I wish I could use the console to cheat, but... Um, but sometimes... It's better to leave a mystery a mystery and come back later. Oh look, there's another... <laughs> there's another place, maybe this is where he lives. Nope, no. Bit of loading there. Oh, it's just it's just an ordinary ancestral tomb with again a level sixty lock. No. Well, that was intriguing, but um you can discover that for yourselves. It'll be more exciting. We'll continue west. I think we're getting pretty close to... Um, could be a town here. I see a silt strider. Hopefully, uh, it's connected to the network. Welcome to Aimra. You ask too many questions. Well, at the, at the most, I've asked one question. I guess that could be too many for you. <laughs> yeah. 
Leave Emra while you still can. Interesting. Whatever it is, I'm not interested. Beechcraft 6. I, uh, we're not going to be um, sweet talking anybody anytime soon. Is this, is this city taken over by vampires? Blessings of the three upon you. I can tell you're not one of the locals. Perhaps you'll help me, none of the locals will. I'm trying to find my friend Jebin. He's been eaten by vampires. He's a sailor. <laughs> has nightmares of drowning, has delusions and... <laughs> is part of the crew of the freighter Parudma, anchored at the docks, speak to the captain. So we can go to Almosphere, which is handy, or Vol, or Onrenthesis, which is uh, it's quite handy. Why walk when you can run? <laughs> You're not a local, but let's hear it. There are many underwater grottos. Hmm, interesting. An outlander left the sailors in without paying for his room. Oh, naughty. What is this regarding, Argonia? They don't want you going in the lighthouse, do they? <laughs> Speak, traveler. A business proposition, eh? If you were to supply me with more interesting wares for the Dres trade, I would make it worth your while. Fine. Dres trade. Do you have any interesting goods? Not yet. <laughs> they are not interested in purchasing commonplace goods, such as clothes, perfumes, weapons, or armor. Well, um, interesting. Certainly seems a nice variety of quests to be had here. Apartment complex. <laughs> Ow. Yes, sir. Oh, excuse me for, for breaking into your apartment complex. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Well, you certainly have the unfriendliness down. A pack of vicious rats are causing me trouble. I would appreciate it if someone killed all the rats. Yes, I can do that. My apartment is in the apartment complex. Ah, I, I know it well. The northernmost door on the first floor. These aren't some ordinary rodents, I tell you. <laughs> I think we could be in for a bit of a surprise then. Let's speak to the publican about uh, the missing... <laughs> Get out of here, you pervert. Sure, I'll find him and get your money back. <laughs> friends about this place. <laughs> I may be blind, but I can tell for a fact that you're not one of the locals. Indeed I am. I, indeed I am not, I should say. You will suffer. <laughs> 
Really? You're going to attack me with a broken bottle, are you? Ah, interesting. Unfortunately for you, I have a devil spear. Are you going to hit me or not? Okay. Now it's self-defense. Maybe I can let you go free now. All you need is the key from Jim Malim. Who's that? Oh, I see. He must be the. Uh, he must be the boss. Yeah. Well, maybe if we, uh, if we, can you get out of my way? <laughs> Thank you. Maybe if we find the uh, the money from the the guy who ran away as a reward. Well, as we're here, let's sneakily see if there's any clues. I don't think there's any clues. Yeah, maybe we can exchange the uh, the money for um, letting the slave go free. What is this about? Outland, what do you want? This freighter belongs to... Oh, I don't know. What am I supposed to be doing anyway? To find his friend, to find his friend, the freighter Pagdalumnum. You're aboard the Diligent Faith, so I'm on the completely the wrong ship. Aha, interesting. So these are all the maps of the area. Tell me what the ship is. Ah, oh, this is the ship. Okay. I don't like you. I don't want to talk to you. Well, that's fair enough. You can bother anyone you please. <laughs> it's true. I am a landlubber. Is the captain at home? You smuggling illegal things. Weak poison, eh? Why are you carrying poison? A lot of weak poison. And some wax. Now, did we not see a bit of wax? In that hotel room. Hmm, it's all starting to come together. Except... I don't know what's going on at all. <laughs> the cargo hold is off limits. Well, then the cursor should have turned red. about I just run away? Yes, I'll just run away. That will be fine. What do you want? I understand that Chibbin's gone missing. Do you have any idea where he could be? No doubt he has run away with that harlot, Anara. She works down at the Sailor's Inn. <laughs> Bring 
brings her gifts from across the lake, I see. We have to go back to the inn. Well, you also have wax. Maybe you just... Maybe you just find a lot of wax wherever you find sailors. Having said that I didn't want to uh, to really do any quests, we now appear to be doing at least three quests at the same time. Um, <laughs> she hasn't run away, she's in the back room behind this counter. Well. I will. What is this about? You're Anara. The sea captain called you a naughty things. Did Jim send you did you have a message from him? He's missing? <laughs> Where do you think he could be? Or maybe visiting Ivan Seloth? No, not really. Tell me more. <laughs> He's troubled. Yes, I blame the lake. Playing tricks with his mind. It's the weak poison, probably. The weak poison in the boat. Shadows, something grabbed him. Gigantic moor. Amulet. Peculiar wax amulet has been added to your inventory. What happened to your family? Oh wow! Well. Who could resist uh, such a heart, a heartbreaking tale of of sadness? Possibly, possibly I may be able to resist. What's this about? I hear you're looking for Jebin. I could help you. Why don't you buy a jug of maize and I'll know. He he he. <laughs> sure, okay. We'll buy we'll buy you some alcohol. I can tell. I'll have to get rid of that moon trigger. Fine. Tell me about Jibin. You don't know the history of Aimer. Oh, how interesting. Have you heard of the Arnesian War? Never heard of it. The war with the Orgonians. Diddly do, diddly do. There's Drew in the lake, I see. Pay the crew tribute and they protect us. What happened in the end? It's <laughs> oh, a lot of text, isn't it? Um, there's Drew in the lake, diddly do, the Marvis family. I don't know who that is. Old man Marvis, Captain Nora's father. Uh -huh. Jebin is not the first to go missing. Why is this? No wonder he tried to, to distract us with a lie, saying that they'd run away. <laughs> Food? <laughs> Gebin is going to be fed to the Drew of the lake. Yes, I've already been to the cargo hold. There's still the brother. Hmm, interesting. He's always outside tending the gua. I think we met him, didn't we? Keeps his apartment in the apartment complex always locked. Ha <laughs> ha! Is there anything else? The peculiar wax amulet. Yes. The amulet is what they use to track the uh, 
The sacrifices. Ooh. Wow. This is it's very enthralling. I must say. I uh, I am I very keen to know how it unfolds. There's also the question of, of the giant rats. So that's the priest's room. Ah, a, cu a cure poison antidote thing. <laughs> What are you doing here, and what happened to bits of your legs? I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting this. You have found what's left of Plaw Jebin. He's wet, his lungs full of water, and he, his neck is broken, and an arm and a leg are missing. Wow. Gruesome. I should confront the priest about this. So this thing with the drew in the lake was all the big trick, was it? It was the priest all the time. The rats, the rats are on the uh, the ground floor. Say what you want, but go. Find some more. Who was that person? Mandarano. Here we go. <laughs> oh dear. I'm doing it all wrong. I see. They have some special healing ability. You are a vicious rat. Is there any more? A brittle wall. Ah! <laughs> they are super rats. I think we're going to have to run away. Well, that, was, that, was a, that was a close one. Are you all dead now? You can't rest here, enemies are nearby. Ah! <laughs> let's, um, let's heal. That might be a good idea. That might be a good idea. Well, we'll just rest then. I have killed all the rats. They have made a nest behind the walls. It's, it's very dark. Let's see what's back back here. Rat meat. That seems that's everything. <laughs> well, we did one. We did one quest. Although I forget, um, <laughs> I forget where the person was. A dock worker. I think you were up in the rooftop, weren't you? Speak, traveler. We'll we'll be back for you in a minute. A bit gruesome, wasn't it? He's missing an arm and a leg. Uh, no, you were the trade person. I guess it would make sense that the dock worker would perhaps be on the docks. I'm waiting. Vicious rats. So the rats had a nest behind the wall. 
Thank you for killing them. You're not too bad for an outlander. Here's some potions. Very good. Tell me about the vampires then. Vampires are not the same as ash vampires. Let's save in case there's um, problems with this uh, this priest. May you find all that you seek. <laughs> May you find all that you seek. Well, we found some things. I pray to the three that he's all right. Okay. <laughs> you found him. I found him dead in your apartment, on your bed, partly dismembered. <laughs> makes no sense. Well, that's why I found him. Someone must have carried his body to my apartment. He could have easily done so. Ah, it's even more complicated than I thought. Maybe he's innocent. Given that the captain lied about saying that Jebin had run off with the, uh, with Hannah, then, um, let's assume that the drunk story about sacrificing people to the monsters is true and therefore they're framing him so uh, I believe you, you didn't kill him it's clear that there's a greater conspiracy at play indeed there is Rathas Falveno I hear he does odd jobs for the Marvis family how convenient highly suspicious don't you think indeed it is And conveniently close by. Yes, sir. This guy. <laughs> well, I don't think you're going to be very helpful, are you? Listen up, barnacle face. You better start talking before I beat you senseless. Please stop harassing me, glub glub. <laughs> what was that weird sound you just made? <laughs> that sound, you made it again. <laughs> Listen to me, you weird toad boy. Tell me what you know and I won't break your face. He's going to meet me in the warehouse basement. I'm sure that this won't be in any way a trap. Do you remember where the, the warehouse was? It was over there. It's very exciting, isn't it? I think we could be reaching... We could be reaching the conclusion of this mystery. Now, this is the trade house, not the warehouse. Where, where's, where is the warehouse? Here it is. It's always been unlocked. How convenient. And we have to go down into the basement. A master's lockpick, eh? Highly suspicious. But we'll have to conclude this exciting adventure next time. It's, it's a cliffhanger. That's right. So, if you want to find out what happens, be sure to tune in. Same bat time, same bat channel. But for now, stay safe, take care. I bid the adios, farewell.